hello and good and afternoons welcome to another one of these it's sunday and not just any old sunday but may bank holiday sunday and if you're not from the uk uh, bank holiday is basically a day that everyone in the whole of the united kingdom has off to enjoy the rain today i am going to go to hampstead heath or as some people might call it bummer's paradise people to watch out for dickheads playing guitars and men who unnecessarily have their tops off let's see how many of those we can spot i am walking through an affluent area of north london and it is literally a ghost town concrete proof that they all will have second homes in the country. I don't know what people have been up to with their cats in this area, but this is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. A leopard skin cat. Please, someone, explain this to me. Here's a little bloody historical fact for you. In the olden days, there was a tax based on how many windows you had in your house. So some places, they bricked up windows to save money. Educational. I forgot to add someone to my list of potential dickheads to spot on this park journey, which is people doing circus related activities. I can't tell whether that cat was actually half leopard or it's because that I've eaten Chinese for the last three consecutive meals and I'm mildly hallucinating. This is the famous pub where uh, the last woman to be hung in the UK shot her lover. Uh, from outside and you can even see the bullet holes where she shot the gun. But it's closed now so hopefully it'll become a KFC or something like that. Here we are, a strange bald man talking to himself on Hampstead Heath. This is what Londoners think is the countryside. In actual fact it's just a few fields with tons of people in it. Too many of them topless some of them doing yoga, all of them very annoying. Example one of unnecessary male nudity. <laughs> really nice and peaceful up here. Great, it's great to get away from the crowds of people in London for a change. There seems to be a rule that anyone flying kite looks as though they may have been in prison. Here's a good fact. One in five of the people sunbathing on Hampstead Heath are in fact dead. If you ever get lost near Hampstead Heath, the rule is to keep on walking past all the houses until the houses gradually start getting shitter and that is normally where you live these are the famous Hampstead Heath bathing ponds where if you prefer swimming in animal excrement to chlorine it's the perfect place for you swimming swimming sharks STDs well there you have it Hampstead Heath what is it um some quite nice fields and ponds it is not the Garden of Eden. So stop banging on about it, Londoners. All right, I'll see you next time.